Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Divine Feminine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We gonna do it to get dirt. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine feminine getting no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Turin. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. T all right, y'all. Divine Feminine, what's up, Booski? Girl, I feel like it took me a long time to get to you. I feel like I've been wanting to talk to you with all the bullshit going on. I don't know if you got a lot of bullshit going on, but it's just a lot of, like, like bullshit G from the north from the east from the south to the west it's like from all angles and shit like motherfuckers really don't want divine feminine to have shit G okay uh so I don't know if you're experiencing the same thing but because we are a collective I feel like you probably are booski it's like from everywhere everybody and shit like damn can a motherfucker live basically girl okay people may be attached to you at the hip uh, or trying to like leeching on divine feminine by any means necessary too. It's not even, you know, when we say like people leeching on, sometimes we think, oh, it's for money. It's for this. It's for, sometimes it's just to be around a motherfucker. Like no reason at all. Like just to just, I mean, just, I don't know, attached to you because they know you girl, uh, you're going somewhere, you're going places. You've, uh, succeeded in a lot of things you've conquered a lot of things battled a lot of things and survived and it's like people are just gravitating towards you or they know you're headed towards something girl okay lay off the spicy food divine feminine okay i don't know who that's for but just be careful of spot or there i don't know I feel like it's spicy food, but now they're talking about soul food. You know what I mean? But they're showing the devil with it. So it's spicy soul food. I don't know. I mean, I get what they're talking about, but just be careful, girl. This could be people just giving you bad fucking advice and shit, you know, because they salty or upset or some shit, but they're trying to cloak it in like uh, friendship, mentorship, advice, love, some type of shit. Okay. Some business they could be trying to cloak it like that. These people trying to hold you back or attach themselves to you uh, in a negative sense, though. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, it's like uh, you're going to uh, divine feminine. If you haven't realized already, you will in the next seven days that you probably have been given way more than you've been getting back. And I don't feel like you haven't realized it. It's just you burnt down on this shit. That's all. You're just tired, you know? So this could be like, you know, being the mediator or fixing everybody's problems. Uh, this picking up somebody else's kid from school. It's like extra shit that don't have shit to do with you, G. I feel like people are even using those things to stay attached to you. Like, oh, I need you. You know what I mean? Like this type of shit. Things they know that you'll do, you know? Wow. Okay, girl. Let's see what's up. Give me some messages here. For Divine Feminine, how she'll be feeling about herself and the energy she's going to be in in the next seven days. Some of y'all are taking out some braids, some extensions, uh, weave, locks. It's about time. I think I'm ready for my, for my flat iron. You know, it was fun, though. I had a good time. Yeah, some of you guys are switching up your hairstyles or, you know cleaning up things so i see you moving furniture around or possibly dusting sweeping mopping uh you could be buying new furniture uh let's see i feel like you cleaning out i said i'm sorry mama yeah you cleaning out your closet so you guys could be donating clothes uh these clothes could i hope they ain't just all old and fucked up i hope they just either too big or too small don't be donating no bullshit uh, they showed me somebody give away shit that got yellow stains and holes in it. Like, don't nobody, uh, don't donate it. You know, what kind of shit? Anyway, Divine Feminine, you know better, okay? 
Give me some messages here for Divine Feminine, the energy she's going to be in, and how she'll be feeling about herself in the next seven days. This death card is like holding on here, but it won't flip over, but kick to the curb, dead. Boop, get your ass up out of here. That's what that is. Uh, yeah, Divine Feminine. So you ain't picking up other people chill around from soccer practice neither no more. Basketball, football, this like, sorry, I can't do it. Boop, kick to the curb. These feel like things that are not priorities or people or places. Like, you know, that's what this is. And Divine Feminine, you kind of had that the last seven days where it was like, you know, you were kind of, people were starting to realize like you really didn't give a shit about them like they thought you did or they didn't hold that high title or high position in your life like they thought they did or they once used to. Maybe they did and they don't anymore. I feel like you getting rid of all that shit, girl. So this is a continuation of the last seven days. Faux show. Sure. Look at that boy form. Shit. He know exactly where he kicking that shit to the fucking curb. Boo! I'm telling you. And then you got wham, 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 bitch, I'm the baby. So whoever this is ain't taking it well. Uh, or this you, Divine Feminist. Somebody gets uh, given back to the screen. Yes, they do. Uh, and there's a lot of people looking, too, at this, watching this happen. I never really pick up on the people in the back of this card. Look at all them kids watching. Like, damn, he straight kicked that motherfucker to, like, you know? Like, somebody's watching someone beat the odds uh, here is what I heard, Divine Feminine. In the next seven days, someone could watch you beat the odds or you're watching someone else do it. Yeah, there may be something that someone else couldn't do that you're doing. Yeah, so, uh, ooh, Divine Feminine, you kicking ass, bitch, okay? What they say, uh, kicking ass and taking names? Yeah, that's what they said. You kicking ass and taking names, okay? People are watching you beat the odds, yes, but they're also watching you succeed at something or do something that other people around them or they themselves could not do, G. It's like, uh, the buck stops here, they say, yeah. So this is where everybody get the fuck off. And your, your shit keep going. But this is where all these other motherfuckers get off. They can't ride with you. So won't you play like J.O. Felony and bitch take a ride with me? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they into all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, felons, can somebody can't leave the state or some shit like that? I don't know. Or these are people that are just destined to stay in a lifestyle area mentality job relationship it's something like that you like i'm fucking cool maybe this is something people never thought you leave separate from stand up to stand up for divorce quit walk away bitch you you name it you name it shit mm -hmm. they didn't think you'd be the shirley caesar of verbiage <laughs> and not verbiage but like verbs you know what i mean like shit i'm about to take action on this shit and you do in the next seven days. Yeah, people can't figure out how the fuck you doing it either. Or why you done dismiss them and kick their ass to the curb. Some of you guys may still be trying to figure out what happened between you and someone as well, Divine Feminine. This could be between you and another feminine energy. I don't know if it's a friend, a family member. Somebody's still puzzled on, like, you know what I mean? Why? I mean, this ain't kick to the curb. I don't know if you did it or not, but it feels so bad. Because this person, I'm feeling their energy. That's how they feel. And everybody saw it too. So somebody out here is embarrassed in the next seven days. They are. Give me another one. The lawnmower man. Yeah, this is avoiding things because he uh, focuses on the grass and this bush is the problem. Like, you working on the grass, sir, that shit will make it another week. This bush is like, you know what I mean? But he acts like he doesn't see it. You know what I mean? Just mowing along. Or he like, that ain't my property. Shit, where the, <laughs> where the bush starts, that ain't my address, okay? So, like I said, these are things that don't, uh, these aren't priorities. Or these things don't concern you. Or it doesn't uh, uh, affect you in any way. That's why you're kicking these things to the curb, G. Uh, and avoiding them at the same time. So it's like, not only do I get rid of your ass, motherfucker, it's like I make sure you can't find me after. It's like, uh-uh, you'll never see me again or something like that, girl. Some of y'all are kicking somebody to the curb that wasn't ever around anyway, so I don't even know how that works, okay? This is like this whole uh, divine masculine shit that be going around on tarot land. Like, kick him to the curb. Like, girl, that motherfucker ain't been around in a, in a long time. He been gone, okay? So somebody is finally realizing, like, yeah, this is a wrap. Like, somebody was under the illusion that they're with someone. 
or this is that whole, you know, twin flame and he's there and all that. And people think they've been in a relationship with somebody for like seven, eight years and shit and ain't seen that motherfucking seven, eight years and shit. Somebody finally kicking that bullshit to the curb, okay? Don't nobody, a man for show. men get what they want. They go after what they want. Men are natural hunters, G. They are. So if a man ain't going after what he want, he may not want that shit or don't have the tools to get it. Gang, I put that shit on everything. That's just men, period. Uh, facts. Men do what the fuck they want. That's why they get lost when they be driving and shit. They will not look at a map if they feel like they know where the fuck they going. No, I'm gonna, they're very determined species and shit. So if this motherfucker been avoiding you for eons and years and shit, yeah, it's about time you kick that theory to the curb because the actual physical body is not there. It's like some type of I don't know. Some of y'all need to wake up, Divine Feminine. I'm going to keep it real with you in the next seven days. There's some, or shit, there's some other broad, some man avoiding some other broad, and she in an imaginary relationship with this man, okay? Okay, I don't know if he finally say something like, girl, you ain't know I was avoiding you. Now I got to kick you to the, like, damn, I thought avoiding you was good enough. Now I got to kick you to the curb. This could be somebody who don't take hints as well, Divine Feminine. You or somebody else. It's like avoiding somebody ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? You got to boot their ass to the fucking moon and shit. To the moon, Alice. The goon palace. Yeah, basically. Somebody's name could be Alice, but that's what I heard. Shout out to Nikki. Yeah. Like to where they can never come back. You boot a motherfucker to the bull. Shit. From Earth, you can move anywhere you want. <laughs> on earth I mean you know what I mean this could be like some stalker shit where it's like I don't have you know what I mean nowhere is safe this type of shit it's saying you can boot a motherfucker to the moon and the whole world is yours after that so I don't know how you uh getting rid of someone's energy someone or something divine feminine or this is happening to you but someone is to never be seen or heard from a fucking Ganji okay damn bullskeet it bees like that though especially with like i said in the beginning shit coming from all angles and shit like how about everybody just go you know what i mean i just avoid all this shit all this crazy wild shit and focus on my grass is what this shit is uh divine feminine i feel like you could be in the same energy the nunsky just changed her number on everybody g like fuck it new number who this i can't even say who this because i have a new number i never understood that line like, new number, who this? Like, what's a new number? Is damn sure ain't somebody you know unless you gave him the number. But I get it, I guess. Moving on. Y'all could be doing some shit like that. Just getting rid of everything. Like, fuck it. If you see me, you see me. If you find me, you find me, G. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. In the next seven days. I changed all my phones, too. All my numbers. Not just one. Hell no. When you boo, you can't boo the motherfucker around. Apparently. Can't boo the motherfucker just around Earth and shit. It's like changing one number. You know what I'm saying? And leaving your other number. Nah, no, boot a motherfucker to the moon. Next is moving, okay? That's that's what this is, Divine Feminine. Moving, changing numbers, locations, uh, some shit. Somebody taking their kid out of school. Where I see y'all taking different routes. Some of y'all got a real stalker on your hands or stalkers. And that shit is not fucking cool. Bitches that get a kick out of that shit ain't never really been stalked before. That's why I'd be like, that shit's not fucking cool, G. <laughs> but anyway... Or bitches that like to show off they shit well, to these motherfucking weirdos and shit on the internet and shit. Them type of bitches ain't never had a real stalker and shit or else you wouldn't do no shit like that. Put your kids, your titties, your pussy, none of that shit uh, for the world to see like that. You just wouldn't. Or you be very careful when you do. You know what I mean? So this is not that. This is somebody that uh, may not want all the attention that they're getting or all the something divine feminine, okay? Some of y'all could be an influencer in the spotlight, entertainment, <clears throat> well-known. But I see you going incognito, okay? In the, or somebody else is in the next seven days. Because it's getting hot in here. Yeah, that's why. This is my, uh, it's getting hotter. It's getting colder. Right, Marco Polo. Uh, this type of shit. This is also a temper. This is somebody getting heated. Yeah, so somebody's getting upset. It's like somebody tested somebody's boundaries. It's like I was avoiding your ass, you know what I'm saying? But you keep coming closer and shit. It's like this is getting rid of someone. And someone's like, I'm not on your property. I'm right here. This is like this type of shit. You could be having an issue with a neighbor, but this, this type of shit. You know, you see neighbors feud. He's like, keep your leaves off of my side of the grass, right? Tempers are flaring. Shit's boiling up. I see it like a uh, something coming to a head boiling to the surface that you've been trying to avoid divine feminine or divine masculine somebody knows something's about to like peter pop the fuck off g okay 
I see you guys trying to avoid this divine feminine, divine masculine, because this says I'm trying to avoid this shit, kick this shit to the curb and avoid, right? The lawnmower man conflict, getting upset and all this other shit. Somebody wants to bring it to you, though. I do see your ass boiling over. That's what that is. So we'll see uh, what happens. Somebody is a... Uh, you spray for mosquitoes. I don't know what they were. I guess an exterminator, but outside. I see landscapers out here, chefs, athletes, uh, entrepreneurs, CEOs, motherfuckers that just make money while they mow lines, uh, people that are into marijuana, all types of shit, okay? So, Divine Feminine, you have a lot going on, but this it's a lot of masculine energy out here, girl. So, that's why I said, if somebody ain't seen you in, like, since Skippy was a puppy, please stop claiming that man, Okay? Like, this is what this is. Somebody's, like, out of their mind or thinks that they're with someone that they're not with or that something's going on that's not going on or some shit like that. And someone's been trying to avoid this person or stay away from this person, but they keep, like, chasing them or some shit. Yeah, death card. Shit, this motherfucker gonna be buried. Maybe that's why the bush so big. Remember, Tina keep coming through. So I don't know, okay? Some of you guys are not mad either. Somebody may want you to get mad, divine feminine, divine masculine, and you're not. You just avoid these type of people. Like, I just avoid situations where I'm going to get pissed the fuck off. That's all. Like, so I'm not mad. And people are like, are you mad? Because we haven't seen you. No, I'm not mad. But if I get with you or I'm around you, then I will be mad. But if you leave me the fuck alone, then I'm not mad. It's like this type of shit. It's like people don't uh, get it, <laughs> you know? You're going to be seeing a lot of stupid ass shit, divine feminine, in the next seven. And I'm talking about everywhere, G. There's a, a commercial that was on the other day uh, for like when you get like a, a, what's it called? A Charlie horse. It was a TheraWorks commercial. You're going to see it now that I told you. It's a lady. I don't know if you call it wakeboarding or paddleboarding. She paddleboarding in the middle of a lake or ocean. And she's like, ow! Right? And she grabs, she in the middle of the lake or the ocean, right? She grabbed her shit, right? The back of her leg. And they're like, no fear. TheraWorks is here. And she just spraying in her hand, rubbing on her leg and start paddling. I'm like, where the bitch get the TheraWorks from? You know what I mean? Like, it's commercials like that where I'm like, they didn't show her go back to shore, have a fanny pack on or nothing. This bitch just magically got like, you know what I mean? Charlie horse cream from the middle of the ocean. But it, they, their whole slogan was, be prepared anywhere. Like, okay, did a helicopter drop that shit? Or like, it, it's just weird shit. Like, too good to be true or... I don't know. I can't really explain it. If that commercial made any sense as far as me trying to explain shit. Like, you got questions and shit. You know, and maybe you ain't supposed to think that deep with commercials. Maybe you smoke like the nun. But I'm like, where the fuck she get the cream from? You know what I mean? She in the middle of the ocean, and y'all talking about be prepared anywhere. How? She got on a wetsuit. Um, okay. How she even roll that shit up? Okay? It's this type of shit. You know how tight a wetsuit is? Okay, girl. It's like this type of shit. So instead of like asking all these questions, you just avoid the whole shit and flip the channel. Kick it, kick it to the curb, man. It don't matter. Boot that shit to the moon. Uh, some of you guys is intellect, creativity. Your mind is boiling over as far as a lot of, you may be getting a lot of downloads, divine feminine, divine masculine in the next seven days. But it's really like exposing shit, like dumb ass shit though, you know? I can't remember what the other dumb thing was that I saw, but I'm like, that is pretty fucking stupid if you think about it. Like, yeah, it's, you're going to be noticing shit like that. Or these are people, you know, in the next seven days. Ooh, wee girl. Some of you guys are throwing away some shoes. They've had it, okay? Are these your kid's shoes or your boyfriend's shoes, your husband's shoes, your daddy's shoes? They stink too, whatever these shoes are. Divine masculine, these could be your shoes. They funky. Throw them away. Okay, I know you like them, but I feel like they smell like, uh, yeah, they're showing me the mac and cheese box. Velveeta cheese, uh, uh, yeah, throw them out. Okay, I don't know who that's for. Uh, Divine Masculine, be careful, because I'm picking up on somebody throwing grip ball, playing grip ball or wanting to. We've been picking up on this shit a lot. This somebody throwing hot oil, hot water, hot, or dead hot, this temper. I see you avoiding this person strictly for divine masculine, divine feminine. It could be you avoiding someone because uh, I picked up on another feminine energy. That's uh, or she could just be a female that's in masculine energy, divine masculine. This could also be a female that's in masculine energy. I mean, divine feminine, you could have a stalker on your hands and it's you like beating that motherfucker in the head with a pot. Uh, what I don't know what you do, girl. So whoever this man is, I say you stay away from this divine feminine for real. 
Okay, whoever. I feel like you got a stalker, girl. You do. Or for this group I'm talking to. Put one on kick to the curb. Or someone gets dumped or humiliated publicly and they avoid everyone after that. And they're very upset. So somebody gets exposed in front of a lot of people in the next seven days. And after this happens or it's already happened. Because I feel like this has already happened. The beginning of the spread is you already kicked this motherfucker to the curb and everybody seen it. Okay? Or whatever. Somebody got exposed. Right? This person is avoiding you. Avoiding other people. Avoiding this area. This group. This business. This job. Or whatever. And they're stewing. Yes. Someone is stewing in something, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. It's a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, but it's damn sure a masculine, for sure. Some of y'all is a man. Some of y'all uh, emasculated some man and shit in front of other people. Or you will. Shit, so be careful, girl. Because he look a little cool, cool. He do. Put something on kick to the curb. Ten of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all kick somebody out your house. Shit, girl. It's like, get your shit. Get your shit and get out. Boop. Get your shit up out of here, you cabbage head ass motherfucker. Damn, girl. Not they got a cabbage head. What the fuck? Some about Cabbage Patch Kids. You guys could be, have grown up in that era. Hell yeah. Uh, we grew up with Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't know. So it's time for somebody to throw them away. Somebody doesn't want to throw away like old dolls, old memorabilia from like when they were a child or something. Or someone throws this shit away and you get pissed off, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay? Like, so I don't know how attached you are to your Barbies and your Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay? But if we talking about Cabbage Patch Kids, the real ones with the yarn hair and shit, right? When they first came out, my mama waited in line. Right, I got the first one, so yeah, I would be mad if they threw away my shit, though. I still got mine. That's why I'm talking shit. Don't throw away the original, okay? That one's got a birth certificate. It was named after me and everything. Like, that's a that's a uh, damn antique. Somebody may be throwing away antiques or something precious or something because they're mad at you. I could totally... Man, that's the shit I'll be talking about. That's the shit I'll be talking about, though. Like, it just come from all, all different angles. Like, damn, you're going to throw away my old Cabbage Patch dolls, huh? Like, you that tight, huh? Like, when you don't come over here, that's what this is. It's avoiding things. Or this somebody throwing away your clothes, divine feminine, or giving your job away. Like, well, you never called. But I feel like, I mean, I don't even really feel like it's that. I feel like because you expose someone. And so someone could have some of your personal property. If they tight at your ass right now, divine feminine, divine masculine, they going to put it out there. This putting out somebody address in the public and shit. Uh, for a motherfucker to know where you live and all this other shit because somebody mad. It's an old bitch ass motherfucker out here. Okay, excuse my French, but it is. Yeah, King of Cups. It's coming up as a man, G. So I don't know what, what your dealings were with this man. You may have loved this man, felt sorry. I don't know who this, like I said, it could be a kid, a daddy, an uncle. Uh, I don't feel like it's you, Divine Masculine. Oh, I really don't. And if you think that this is, I mean, Divine Feminine's watching, if you think this is your Divine Masculine, there's nothing divine about a motherfucker putting your address out and stalking your ass and uh, throwing away your Cabbage Patch doll and all that, like, girl. And ain't came around and shit and don't do shit and piss you off. Ain't nothing divine about that motherfucker, man. Okay? So this just a man. The sign of man, 666. I just changed my phone number so it don't matter what I tell y'all now. But when I originally got the number, it was 9909, right? And then the last three numbers. And I liked the last three numbers because they were, like, significant and meaningful. And then when I changed my number, I was like, dang. God was, like, flipping around. I'm like, yep, 666 and the meaningful number tied into that. Like, that's why all this bullshit, I'm telling you, it's going to be shit like that happening. Numbers, street names, uh, all that shit is significant, Divine Feminine. Even from picking your phone number, G. Okay? So this time I picked one where I'm like, yeah. This one, I'm damn sure gonna win with this one. I got to, okay? It's like this type of energy out here. This is you avoiding like, you know what I mean? Getting upset, getting the negative energy. Like, I know what to do. I'll kick all that fucking shit to the curb. <laughs> I'll dump all this like moving on a whim and shit, bitch. Or dumping somebody, quitting a job. Uh, you know what I mean? Just chopping your hair off or just leaving friends, family. That's what this is. And people get upset when you do this. As you do this, people are going to try to do shit to you. There's retaliation out here in the next seven days. It is. Oh, wait. Somebody kicking a whole family to the curb, G. Okay, a whole associate uh, association, a group. Uh, this could be a fraternity, a sorority, a band. 
something. Somebody like y'all can have the whole motherfucking band, man. Boo! Shit. Oh well. It's like I ain't about to get my pressures up. Shit, I'll avoid the whole damn rehearsal, mic check, all that shit. You will never see me again. Uh, that's what this is, girl. In the next, some of y'all are like denouncing something or just getting rid of something, but it's to bring in something else. And you know, being in this angry energy, getting upset is not going to bring in. It's almost like it it uh defeats itself, right? It's like you kick kick say this is like a relationship, and you kick it to the curb, and then you still like mad. It's like no, nah, kick it to the curb and avoid all that shit, so you don't get mad and bring in a better relationship. It's like it doesn't make sense to stay in this stewing something because you can't bring in the shit you really want to bring in after you done kicked out the shit you don't want. So it's like that's why people are stuck. It's like uh, that was the first part was getting rid of the shit. The second part is healing from the shit. A lot of people don't heal from shit. You do. But this is saying something's going to try to get you like pissed the fuck off, girl, to make you go all the way backwards. Take you right back. They said to Funky Town. I want you. I told you somebody feet stay. Funky Town. I told you. I want you take me to something. It's a kid. I don't know if he plays sports. His shoes are stanky. Or this man. Funky Town. Yeah. I don't know if it smells like old cabbage. Uh, somebody smells like this. I don't know. Shit. I see why you avoid them if they do. Shit. Now. Come on. Somebody threw on somebody's music equipment or they stole it. Yeah, you could live, you could be from Compton. <laughs> you could, or something like that. Yeah. I see somebody stealing equipment. Whoever's stealing shit, this person's gonna avoid you. So the thief is gonna avoid the person they stole shit from now. So if somebody just disappear and shit, maybe you expose them. Like, hey, stay away from this motherfucker. They a whole thief and shit, right? This person's gonna, like, avoid everybody you told now and just sit around and be mad about that shit that you said that shit or that you exposed them or something like that. Damn, girl. This a cabbage head ass motherfucker, though, so it don't matter. Yeah, fool at the bottom, basically. This somebody don't think, uh, anyway. Like, I feel like you should just put your head in this pot, motherfucker. Shit, that's how I feel about this person, whoever this is. Like, it's just something about leaves, leafy greens. You could be eating a lot of vegetables or something like that. Uh, detoxing or something like that. Somebody just kicked the whole ve vegetarian diet out the window, G. They do. They eat all, like, processed ravioli, uh, all type of salty sodium filled shit, Okay. Some about the food people are eating is also going to tip you off about who you're supposed to be around. And I know we all like, you know what I mean? I ain't no health nut. I'm going to keep it real. Every now and then I'm going to eat chicken, a bird. You know what I mean? When I'm craving it. But it's not something that I'm going to eat all the time. Soda and all that. You know what I mean? No. Uh, this could be somebody who eats like this all the time. And you're like, I can't do it. That's why you don't. That's why your head like a cabbage head. Like you don't even eat cabbage, but your head built like one. You know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck? It's like uh, people's eating habits are even going to separate you. Uh, divine feminine, divine masculine, how they live, how they get down. You know what I mean? Their cleanliness, everything, G. In the next seven days. Somebody gets kicked out of someone's home for being gay or lesbian, too, or transgender. Somebody's also buried in the backyard, like I told y'all. Look at them skulls. I don't know who it is, okay? Some man loses his temper and buries someone in the backyard, okay? I don't know if it's Tina. She been telling me for how long, y'all, that she was under some bush. Okay? She told me it was a bird of paradise, though. And there go that rainbow right there. I don't know, G. Okay? I don't know if she lived in this apartment. Well, uh, she, we don't have no uh, <laughs> garden, so maybe they moved somewhere else. I don't know if that lady lived in this apartment or something. But I don't know why I always pick up on her. But her name is Tina. Or that's what she went by. So I don't know. Uh... They're having a celebration in the backyard, she said. Wow. Okay, girl. I'm going to move on. There's like a, a must be Christmas or something. The family's coming over. She's like, they're like literally going to be in the backyard. Like, ooh, girl, no. Put one on the lawnmower man then. Shit, that ain't a good name for a motherfucker. The lawnmower man? Ooh, girl. I'm going to move on. Put some on him. Now. We done jumped all through this reading like, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this back. 
I'm telling you, y'all, I'm not playing. This is this lady telling me about her husband or some shit, okay? He about, they about to, I don't know, kick her son out to some other kids. He must have moved some other lady up in there. Oh, maybe it's a wedding in the backyard. There's something, I don't know why I'm telling y'all this, so somebody got to be related to her. It's going to be a wedding in the backyard or some celebration in the backyard where this woman's been missing. I don't know if this man said this woman just ran off or some shit, but she did it. She's buried under like a bush or some shit and y'all about to party here i feel like he bringing in a new wife and it's kicking out other kids like so if he had kids or she had kids with this man he's putting them out like you know what i mean to bring in someone else or i don't know gee he be a cooked yo ass son a daughter i don't know it may not be no room in the backyard where he just start boiling this like giving me dumber energy look at this motherfucker face it's giving me Jeffrey Dahmer energy all day, G. It's something about cannibalism or some shit with people out here eating. What the fuck? Girl. Yeah, you don't want to join this group or whatever the for you leaving shit. What? What are we talking about here? We jump from Tina to some whole other shit, okay? Ooh, -wee. put some on the lawnmower man now. Ace of Wands, because I put that Nine of Pentacles back because I just, she she was just telling me she was here. Ace of Wands is a knowing, a passion. Creativity. Some of you guys, Divine Feminine, have been avoiding some type of artistic or creative project that you need to get back on. Or you're just naturally creative and artistic and you haven't really been feeling it lately. It's because of whatever this Ten of Cups is that you kick into the fucking curb. Once you kick that shit to the curb, all that shit gonna come back. That's just, I'm telling you, when I started earlier, I said you boiling over with, with creativity, thoughts, and everything. Something's right back, something's back on. Uh, look at this. I'm telling y'all they gonna do something to the electricity. Okay, I told y'all why I bought that little grill and shit. Like, uh-uh, motherfucker. I'm gonna have some flames somewhere, okay? No. Uh, so I don't know. Something about y'all grilling in the backyard or something like that. I don't know, Divine Feminine. In California, uh, it gets, it's warm, so you can. Every Christmas, we always barbecue in the backyard. That's was like family tradition. We be in the backyard. Uh, bar, we don't get snow or rain. It's not cold. So maybe y'all doing something like that. I do see somebody warming up some soup. Uh, I heard keep hearing clam chowder. So I hope, damn, I hope don't nobody smell like that too. Shit, I hope we talking about, you know, like what's going on? Here, somebody can feel someone's energy. This, whoever this is that uh, can feel you, I'm talking to you. I feel like it's you, Divine Feminine, that can feel someone's energy. This is someone you got, you've gotten rid of. So if you've been feeling like paranoid, anxious or something, like feeling like someone's looking at you, they are, but not the way you think though. Some of you, it is the way you think. But others of you is not the way you think. They're not near your property or anything like that. It's like they're mad at you. They're angry at you. So they could be looking at a picture or, you know what I mean? Some crazy shit. Thinking about you real hard, like envisioning you. It's almost like this type of energy. Don't disregard that. Be aware of this motherfucker in the next seven days. This person is creepy as fuck. Whoever this is. This is somebody you don't want to talk to. This is somebody you don't want to fuck. Don't want to talk to. Don't want to. None of that, girl. Nothing. Okay? It's this person. Oh, hey. Who up with this Ace of Wands? Ace of Cups. Damn. Somebody avoiding new love here? Is what this is. There's a man out here avoiding new love. A new begin, a new air, all new everything. But uh divine feminine in this man's defense, I feel like this man had to get rid of something first. I don't know who, what, uh, whatever the fuck. Some of you guys, some man's been avoiding starting some new something with you because it's a lot of shit going on. But this mer um, this mer, so I don't know, mermaid, a merman. I don't know. They say he's a merman. Okay. Uh, I hope no nobody smell like any of the stuff I'm describing. Yeah, for real. What the fuck is going on? It's a man that smell like fish. What? Anyway, uh, that's what they said. He's a merman. They're showing me uh, what's that uh, mythological man that's got the pitchfork and shit. They're showing me him with the tail. It's a name. Y'all know him because y'all know all them Greek people and shit. Something about Atlantis. 
or something. I don't know. That's that's your man, though. <laughs> Whoever this is, this merman, okay, uh, is what this is. This person's been avoiding some new connection, new something with you because they had to move, get rid of something, or something had to happen in this person's life. Whatever it is, something's being, like, exposed or in their life. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Crazy shit is because I'm talking to both of you. Like, I feel like this is a unisex reading. I feel like both of y'all, this is happening. So both of you, you guys may be avoiding each other. This is new love uh, here. So you guys must know of each other or know each other. Or, you know, this is like avoiding bringing something together until I end some other shit completely or get out of this bullshit that I got myself wrapped up in. You could be doing this divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel like it's both of you. Somebody still loves somebody a lot here. So somebody could have a stalker and shit. Like, I got to get rid of this motherfucker first before I bring you in, baby. Like, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh. it's like this type of shit, okay? And the other person could be like, I got to get out of my mama's house, my whatever's house, you know what I'm saying? Before I, you know what I mean, start something with you. I kind of want to be, it could be something like this. But two people are mirroring each other for sure. And then there's somebody that just won't go home. Roger, fuck. Look, it's like, no, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to fuck. I don't want to drink. I don't want to smoke. I don't do, I don't want to do none of that shit. No. It's like somebody who will not, like, take no for an answer. Shit. Somebody's fucking annoying here. Okay? <laughs> I feel like this is the mad motherfucker. This could be a whole friend uh, here. I don't know why I said it like that. A whole friend. Like like they were supposed to be a half of one or something. But I feel like that's significant. I just haven't figured out why yet. Okay, so I'm going to move on. But this could be a connection, uh, a new connection. This could be a friend. You know what I mean? That you know just smoke and drink all day. Don't do shit. It's like this type of shit. Somebody like, you want to come over and smoke and drink? No. I don't. It's like people that don't do shit or... I don't know, girl. I just know you don't fucking want to kick it. I do know that. Divine masculine, you too. It's like, I don't want to sit around and do this shit. No, I'm not interested. I don't want the I'll pass, nigga. The dick was trash. If sex was record sales, you would be double glass. Like, basically. Like, I don't want that shit. That's what this is, girl. Okay? In the next seven days. Shout out to Kim. Yeah. Have you ever seen a crowd go ape shit? Rah! I told you this person getting upset. Whoever this is, you saying all, all those number of things you could be saying to them, right? No, I don't want to reconcile. No, I don't want to be your friend. No, this connection is over. No, I don't want to work here. No, no. Shit, it's a complete sentence. It is. This person not taking it well at all, okay? Yeah, it's the emperor behind it. Shit. Divine masculine? Shit, boy. I feel like this is a man who realized he not divine masculine, though. This is, uh, whoever this is, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, they felt like something was going on between you two. This is somebody who got the wrong idea. Okay, I don't know if you were avoiding telling this person like you have the wrong idea, pal. You know what I mean? Like, nah, and you probably picked up on some shit. I don't know what happens while you finally maybe something else comes in. I mean, this is this could be some shit where you entertaining. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we kick it, whatever. We cool or whatever. But that's just because I don't have nobody like solid, solid yet. But as soon as I get my solid, solid motherfucker, I'm kicking you to the curb, G. Like, you're not, you know. This could be something like that. And I don't feel like you said it like that. I just ain't got time to be like finessing motherfuckers. So that's basically what you had said or what you do, G. You know? You were somebody else. It's because they found their love of their life. You are my friend. Two of cups. Yeah. And somebody pissed the fuck off. Somebody getting rid of people, family members, the hood. Everybody got to go. Okay? Uh, for whatever this is that you're about to do or embark upon a new relationship, career. Some of y'all, it's a baby you bringing in. you like, I don't want none of these motherfuckers around my kid. No, all y'all can go or we'll move. It don't matter, okay? This is y'all cleaning up shit. Like, I don't want all these mosquitoes and shit around my, whatever this is. It's something you're clearing the way for something, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Somebody out here is a chemist or you cook meth. It's one or crack. Okay, or you're on it, okay? You are. You cooking up something, and it ain't rice. That would be mama in the kitchen cooking that, and she ain't came out here yet. So, no, that ain't what this is, okay? Gonna blow the damn house up. It's a damn empty lot, okay? That's what this is. Don't nobody live in this motherfucker. It blew up. Yeah, I see a, an explosion. It's like in a meth something. 
Like in the woods or some shit. Y'all better be careful out here doing that shit. I know times is a hard, but damn. Okay? You gonna blow your fucking cabbage patch head off? Blow up the whole damn cabbage patch. The shit you did have. Uh, ain't that a bitch? Somebody damn sure boiling cabbage, okay? Or cooking a cabbage dish. For sure. Or greens. Or spinach or something. I don't know. Somebody, yeah. They gonna have to go to the toilet. They are. This a big bowl right here. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles fell on. I'm gonna put it back. Uh, somebody, I don't know. Somebody has some gastro in something. Or you could be detoxing, like I said. Ten of Pentacles came out the ancestors. They are pissed off at someone. Okay? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups out here. I'm gonna put it back. But this is my ancestor card, G. They're upset at someone. Somebody knows it, too. So, if we talk about Tina... Basically, I don't know what's going on right now as far as the energies that are going on. But it's like whoever the man is that buried Tina in the backyard, he could feel her. That was his love. She she had his children, G. So when the Ten of Pentacles come out with this damn grip ball, I know Tina mean motherfucking business, okay? I don't know what she about to do. It's something about uh people that are passed on coming back to get their vengeance, G, okay? I've been picking that up a lot too. Yeah, high priestess. Maybe some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You could feel it though. You can feel the shit. So remember, God promised not to destroy the earth, right? Flood the earth with a, a flood anymore, right? With water, emotion, right? So these could be things that you were sad about. He like, nah, don't be sad, says God. Kick that sadness to the curb. Remember, I promised you I wouldn't destroy you with emotion. Nah, they about to feel this shit. They about to feel this grip ball. Yeah. So some of you guys, divine feminine, may be feeling energy from people that are getting their karma, G. Okay, you are connected to these people, so you may feel the energy. You may. Uh, so you may feel upset, agitated, frustrated. You're like, why? What the fuck am I upsetting? This it's not you. Some of y'all feel or thought that you knew somebody or felt that they know you, or these people thought they felt that they knew you and they don't. Somebody's gonna realize this in the next seven days. Put one on the pot. Damn it, Bobby. It's always when I get ready to end this shit, y'all want to have the shit fall on the floor, too. Temperance card. Yeah, I told you the ancestors pissed the fuck off, G. Somebody's pissed the fuck off stewing in some shit, and, but the ancestors are pissed off. So I feel like whoever this is that's mad at that you did something, took some step, exposed them in front of whatever the fuck you did. You called a cabbage patch head ass out. Basically, this person could have dimples or just a fucking big fucking face, G. Like a, I don't know, they could, like a pan face. I don't know, it could just be very round. My auntie called me pie face, so I ain't clowning. You know what I mean? That's just what they're saying. A pie face. Uh, or somebody got pie in their face is what this is. This person is now pissed off that they got pie in their face, but they pissed off the ancestors. That's why they have pie in their face. It's like they're mad because they tried to do some shit that they fucked up doing, and they got reprimanded for that shit. You're a bad cabbage head. Like, that's what this is. Somebody is like, maybe they smoke too much, or they thought you were just high. Because I got high, da 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 da. But in your defense, I feel like you can function when you uh drink or smoke, motherfucker. We out here functioning, mowing grass and shit, making money and shit. What is you talking about? We ain't sitting on our ass. We ain't even at home, barely. Or if we are, shit, it's doing something. We're not uh, boiling up raviolis and shit. Somebody thought you were like them or like the others, and this person pissed the fuck off. Uh, you may have had this person believe you were like the others. That's what the fuck they get. Or the ancestors did. I don't know if you did it or the ancestors did. But somebody fooled someone into thinking that they could fade your ass, okay? And uh, they got exposed in front of their family, their friends, the homies, all types of shit, okay? This person could be drinking and smoking a lot, not taking care of themselves. Uh, the hair could be all fucking wild and shit. Uh, all types of shit. I feel like they have decaying teeth, too. Like rotting teeth. Somebody damn sure got meth mouth out here, okay? They do. Look at them uh, rocks in the back. That ain't nothing but meth mouth, okay? Don't be lying to me. I'm sorry. You want something? Oh, we Put something on the boiling pot now. Somebody on drugs out here. King of Cups. On top of the boiling mat, okay? Yeah, someone's feeling very angry right now or shit, hot. What Nikki say? I think that he popped a molly because look how he's sweating. Look at all this. Uh, yeah, because look how he's sweating. Or somebody noivus manoeuvre, okay? 
And I don't know, maybe somebody gets exposed for using drugs, somebody acting weird or some shit. I don't know, okay? I just know you don't want no parts of this shit. You ain't feeling this shit. You don't want to be uh, around this shit or nothing. So I feel like uh, you left somebody where they were, Divine Feminine. It's like calling, like the shit I had said in whatever reading that was, I was like, this is like you telling your boss you a shitty ass boss. But now you, I didn't know you said it in front of everybody, girl, okay? It's a lot of people watching you tell motherfucker you ain't shit, okay? Uh, this person ain't doing so well. Or someone got humiliated, you dumped them. Or this happened to you, girl, but it's masculine energy out here. Somebody really felt like you loved them. I mean, and maybe you did, but they what it is is that they felt they knew you and that they could do some shit to you and try to stay in line with you while all this other crazy shit was. But this is them doing a bunch of shit to you you didn't know. And they just showing you what they want you to see, and they felt like that shit was cool. And I feel like you find out and kick their motherfucking ass to the curb. This, that, uh... Loyalty shit don't mean shit. You know what I mean? These days to motherfuckers, I'm not saying it don't mean shit to us, but to certain people you realize and people you were loyal to are fucking disloyal as fuck, G. So anybody can fucking get it. That's what this is. I'll boot your motherfucking cabbage head to the moon. I'll beat your fuck. Uh, ooh, I don't know if you're going to beat somebody, but don't do that. But that's what this is. Yeah, you see, I just slipped up. Don't do it. Change your number like the Nutsky did. I'm telling you, like, no. You can just change your number. You can just do certain things. That's what this is. It's going to piss people off the same way as if you did beat their ass. I feel like this hurt a lot worse. Cutting off access to someone or someone realizing that you really don't have no love for them like that. You know what I mean? Uh, especially whatever they did. I don't feel like you just got this way, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, but these people did something. This breaks down to the Three of Cups. Yeah, now they went fan whistling. Yeah, little birdies. They Maybe they gossip like bitches or they act like bitches or it's, I don't know. Okay? But you hear the little canary fan in the back. Look. Okay? I do feel like some some love situation, this has been put on hold until whatever the situation that I was just describing is completely gone. In the next seven. 